Hey, what's up guys? ELP Modeling here with another Unboxing Sunday. I hope you've had a good weekend. Let's finish it up with a Honda. Mmm, I love Hondas. Anyway, decal time. Two sets of dials, plenty of Type R and Honda badges. And then you've got the option of having endless number plates or custom JDM plates. Lots of sponsorship ones, Zeal, Enki, Endless and Yokohama ones. And a third brake light. Dum, dum, dum. But let's take a look what is in this kit. How gorgeous is that car? So close to buying the DC5 a few years ago. So close. I wish I had it done, but never mind. Now, clear parts. Windscreen. All one piece. You have your rear lights. What looks like a third brake light, even though there is a decal for it. Side repeaters. And then your headlights. So this is possibly going to be the hardest unboxing ever to do because everything is in white and white is the worst colour to show you on camera but here is the body. Front and rear bumpers are separate. Mould lines are quite pronounced at the front here. They go all the way along through sort of the headlight area. You've got a moulded in radiator here. I will comment as well the fitment isn't great with the chassis and the uh, body. But, you know, I've seen worse, but it's not too bad. Now, great detailing on those rear lights with the bulb detail, etc. Why there's a third brake light decal, I don't know. You could just spray the back of that clear part or paint it, you know, with clear red. That's a bit odd. Now, the rear sort of apron that goes on this back bumper, it doesn't quite fit perfectly. It'll meet up at one end and then not at the other, so it, that's going to need some playing with. Front bumper isn't too bad. But, you know, it could be better. The headlight detailing is nice as well. You've got the bulbs in there. But on to the interior. Some gorgeous seats that look fantastic from the front and from the back. That was a surprise, wasn't it? <laughs> now, they do need a little bit, of, uh, little bit of loving on the back there to cover those up. But they're some gorgeous seats. Beautiful Recaros. Steering arm, steering wheel side mirrors, gear shifter, you've got your wing mirror inserts, handbrake, rear view mirror, one piece spoiler for the rear, there are no tabs on the body for that, I will add, and then onto the actual interior itself which does lack a bit of detail on those door cards, there's a little bit there but there could be more. You've got a nice bit of detail on that centre console as well, and then your rear seats, shiny white. Now, finishing off the interior with some other little parts, you've got your dashboard. Now, you may think, oh, well, it's not very detailed, but the car itself doesn't have an awful lot of sort of buttons and whatever. It's, you know, it's a driver-focused car, of course. You've got the pedals included there as well. And then we've got this part, which goes on to the rear bump, uh, sorry, the rear part of the chassis to fit it to the bumper. And we've got your number plate, exhaust pipe, the actual exhaust itself. And then there's your rear apron. Remember me telling you it's a little bit of a funny fit. It does need a little bit of loving. I will say that. You've then got the front bumper with a moulded in grille. Now on to the chassis. Every single thing is moulded in. The mouldings aren't that bad though to be fair. There's not an awful lot of flash on these parts either. No, yeah, it's not a bad chassis. It could be better but it could be worse. Not too bad at all. Now I'll flip this and show you the small little parts that are included. Some pegs for the wheels, steering arm, more number plates and your window wipers which are nice and thin as well. They're not like massive chunky ones. Second to last sprue then is your suspension which is fantastic. Really nicely detailed on that. Nice big realistic springs. Now these parts are used to lower the car funnily enough. You can use those to either put them underneath or above. You can have it sort of quite high up or low lowish down you don't get the slammed look but it, you know it's low as in race car low that sort of thing it's pretty good you then got your rear subframe front subframe and lower arms and then your brake discs which aren't too bad they are just the standard ones of course finally your wheels are the Enki NT03 wheels really nicely designed they don't have the two air caps that the actual real wheels have 
I'll thank Dave Zinn for pointing that out to me. That was around two years ago, but he's a really cool guy. But yeah, they're they're nicely nicely detailed wheels. Female fitment, fairly fairly nice tyres. That you know the design of them is great, nicely moulded. But there is a little bit of mould line that you can see there. Let's get the body back and show you what these wheels look like underneath. If I can, there's too much sprue, but you know you get the idea. On this sort of car, with it all sponsored up, it will look fine. But if you're going for the slammed look, it's never going to happen. Nothing left in the box apart from two sets of polycaps and a rogue staple. Your instructions, of course, there is a link in the description. And let me know what you think then, guys. Of course, massive Honda fan. I'm a fan of this kit, to be honest. There's a few letdowns, like the chassis, the rear bumper skirt fitment isn't great. The moulded in front grille is beyond annoying but there's ways of working around that careful paint brushing but it just would have been really cool to have a separate grill on that have you built one i don't actually see many of these get built to be honest it's always the dc2s i'd love to see some more dc5s and even feature one if you've got one or even a real one let's go have coffee sometime show me your integra but anyway i hope you had a good weekend guys have a great week ahead of you i'll see you on social media facebook instagram and on the web and of course in the upcoming videos take it easy bye bye